Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Mark LeMay. Did you know that one in every two dogs will develop cancer in their lifetime? Why? Because cancer can only develop in a dog or a human that is nutritionally deficient. In the wild, dogs get their food from hunting other animals. These animals are made up of proteins, fats, and water. Did you know that the natural diet for dogs and cats is up to 70% water? That's right, rabbits and mice, like our bodies, are primarily composed of water. Dog food, or kibble, is primarily a dry food made from byproducts of the food industry that is non-human grade food, roadkill, and even euthanized dogs. Disgusting, I know. You'll definitely want to watch the documentary, Pet Fooled. You're probably asking yourself, if I shouldn't feed my pet kibble because it's harmful, what is safe for my pet? Integrative holistic veterinarians recommend feeding your dog a raw food diet or as close to a raw food diet as you can. For more information on this topic, check out the videos and the links in the description section below. If you want to lessen the chances of your dog developing cancer or other health problems, then transition to a raw food diet. Not sure what that looks like? In a moment, I'm going to show you an example of how we feed our dog Tika each day. Is it perfect example? No. We are in the process of transitioning her to a all raw food diet. This is just to get you started. I feed Tika in the morning and in the evening. I heard that you want to feed your dog 2% of their body weight in food per day. For Tika, that means about a half a pound in the morning and a half a pound in the evening. So I start with a quarter cup of grain-free kibble and then some protein. Today she's getting tuna. And then she gets some fat. Today she's getting homemade bone broth. And after the fat, today she gets some of that, and then she's going to get some carbohydrates, so she's getting some kale and broccoli. Now I'm also going to give her the broccoli juice, because we want to keep it more wet. And then she also gets a whole food supplement by Standard Process that is for adrenal support. stir this up and it looks like Tika is ready to be fed. Right. Come on Tika. Sit. Wait. The quality of the food we feed our pets is very important. Organic is the best. Some good proteins are tuna, salmon, beef, chicken, turkey, bison, and eggs. Some good fats are those that come from bacon, chicken, turkey, olive, coconut oil, butter. Some good carbohydrates are broccoli, asparagus, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, yams, green beans, peas, and kale. We also feed Tika some organic quinoa, organic raw apple cider vinegar, and of course, homemade bone broth. Feeding your dog this way will contribute to a longer living, happier, and healthy dog. For another great video, click here. To subscribe to my YouTube channel, click here. I'm Dr. Mark LeMay.
I hope you found this video helpful.